Hey babes, we are back y'all, we are back with another unit slay, so this time we did this royal blue, really giving summer look, so I already started with her braid down, and I'm just going in and greasing her scalp, I did use some blue magic, because we touching back into our roots y'all, we need to, it's been doing the girl's hair real good, growing on their hair under all them units. So after I go ahead and grease her scalp, I go ahead and do my ball cap. I put my cap on. You guys can purchase your skin caps. They are my HD caps linked in the bio down below. I, have, I always have everything linked for y'all. So I cut out the ears and then I go in and line out the hairline with the glue. And then I do a, just one layer of spray behind that glue line. Make sure y'all are not putting this glue on any hair. I'm not putting it directly on her hairline, but I'm putting it above her hairline. After that, we let that dry. And one thing I never forget is to sew my cap down. A lot of my clients are surprised when they see that I sew my caps down. So a lot of people aren't doing that. So make sure y'all sew that cap down. This is gonna make sure that no matter how long you keep that unit on, that cap is not gonna slide back or slide off. Sew that cap down. And after we sew that cap down, I'm going to cut it off, all that excess cap. I'm gonna apply a makeup foundation that is closest to her skin tone. And then after that, we're gonna put that unit on and get to the fun part. Now that we're finished with that ball cap, we are putting that unit on and I'm going to do the straps in the back just to make sure it fits comfortably. And y'all, y'all can purchase y'all 613 units. These are my HD Lace 613 units. Like I said, everything is linked down below. And I'm just pretty much getting my view. Like, I like to see the look out before I lay the lace down. I don't know. It's just something that I do, y'all. So I'm parting out the part that she wants. And then I'm going to cut out those ear tabs. We're going to prep her skin. And then start our layer with you. And whenever my clients are getting a side part, I like to run just a little bit more pressure in that middle just to give it a more natural look. I always go in with 90% alcohol, cleaning that skin completely. And then I go in with my skin guard. I spray that. Make sure you allow everything to dry in between. And then I go in with four layers of lace glue. Let every layer dry before you put another one on. And then after that fourth layer is clear, that's when we're gonna lay that lace down. And now that that fourth layer has dried, I always start with that middle tab and lay that lace into the glue. And then I go to the two sides, and lay that lace down and then I put an elastic band over it and make sure y'all are taking your time when y'all laying the lace down you don't want it to ruffle up you don't want it well ripple up and you don't want it to you just want to make sure you place it in the right areas take your time and then while that lace is melting down I do go in and start styling we went for some really dead head curls I just love a good loose curl, y'all. I'm just a loose curl girl. So you see me now, I'm just going into that frontal and waxing it down and hot coming it down. Cause we don't want no helmet. So I make sure that it's super flat before anything. And then I just continue curling while still allowing that lace to melt into that glue.
And then when I'm almost done styling, I go in and cut that lace off. So I always use a razor and I cut in a jagged motion all across the lace. And after that, I go in with my final melt. After I take the baby hairs that I want out, and then I spray the evening spray onto the lace again. And then I am going to lay that lace down one more time. And here I am just pulling out the baby hairs I want. With my side parts, I like to do a curved part for my baby hairs. Just so that the baby hairs flow into the hair. Like I don't like the baby hairs to be separate from the rest of the hair. If you guys get what I'm saying. You'll see later how it goes into the rest of the hair. But after I pull those baby hairs out, once again, I spray the lace as you will see in a little bit and then I lay that band back on and then I go ahead and finish styling her hair I trust in you
All right, and after I finish styling, I go ahead and take that elastic band off. And then we go in and comb those baby hairs out. I cut them and then I curl them. And the way that I cut them is I go shorter to long, like I go at an angle. And then I like to curl my baby hairs going inward towards the face. I feel like that helps swoop it easier, if that makes sense. So I take my edge to brush and I use hairspray. I use the EVN like coating spray and you see how I'm combing those baby hairs into the rest of the hair. That's what I was talking about y'all. Don't have the baby hair separate from the hair. You want it to flow into the hair like it's effortless see. And then after I finish with the baby hairs y'all we're pretty much doing the finishing touches and I define that part and comb out those curls and then get her ready for pictures Alright, and after I'm done with the baby hairs, I do go in and comb those curls out, do a little bit of layering, and just get the hair exactly how I want it to look. all right guys and this is the finished look thank you guys for watching i appreciate you guys so much i hope this video has helped you pick up a little tip and trick for your next install and just in case you guys know that everything is linked down below from the unit to the cap to the products that i use to my amazon storefront you can find any and any everything that i use is linked below but I will see you guys in my next video. Again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys later. That ain't my girl, that's my nigga. Catch me out on ocean drive with her. Catch me in the whip, ride with her. Hey, sipping something, bumping big, hypnotized with her. Pray you get that job in Tampa. That's only four hours away. Take a car, take a plane.